G'day mates. First, can I say, I'm sorry that the video quality, the audio quality, the production quality has been so shabby lately. Uh, just really busy moving house, got a whole lot of stuff going with Sleep HQ, so haven't had a lot of time, but please accept my apologies. Now, by now, most of you are probably aware there is an absolutely massive voluntary, important word there, voluntary, CPAP mask recall from Philips regarding some of their best selling CPAP masks, including the Dreamwear Full here, top of the head design, really cool. And it's all because of this. Little, little magnetic mask clips. Now it affects 17 million CPAP masks. And this is to go along with their CPAP machine recall that's still ongoing. That was first released back in June, 2020. Still ongoing, can you believe that? that affects over 5 million CPAP devices. So I've said it a million times, a lot of bad stuff going on at Philips. And I first reported on this back in April this year. Now, many of you have been asking me, I've had 100 plus emails today from everyone, and I love the emails, don't get me wrong, but I've had so many emails today from ResMed users, of course, saying, Nico, I use a ResMed F30i and N20, they've got magnetic clips also. Look, will these masks also be recalled? And the answer is no, my friends, no. Now it's taken me a little bit of time to get my head around what's going on here. I'm gonna break it down for you right now. It all comes down to this, my friends, labeling. So when I heard about the recall, the first thing I did was go and grab two masks, a ResMed and a Philips mask, open up the packages, get out the manual and read the manual to see what's going on. Why is one being recalled and the other not? And I've found the answer and I'll explain it to you now. So both the Dreamwear manual and the ResMed F30i manual, two full face masks, both have very similar information regarding the magnets used on both the masks, which puzzled me a little. And then I read the updated labeling information from Philips and I figured out what's going on. So this is the original Philips manual, the non-updated one, and I'll read you a little bit about what they say here. Fucking dead, where's this? No wonder no one can find the fucking thing. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. It was here a minute ago. I've lost my, my mind. Do not use bleach or alcohol, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Where's the mystery page? All right, so here it is. The headgear clips and mask cushion contain magnets. Contact your healthcare provider before you use this mask. Some medical devices may be affected by magnetic fields. The magnetic clips in this mask should be kept at least, now this is the important part right here, two inches or 50 millimeters, five centimeters, away from any active medical device with special attention to implanted devices such as pacemakers, defibrillators and cochlear implants. That's the really important part right there, guys. At least two inches, 50 millimeters. Remember that. Here is their new updated information. Magnets with a magnetic field strength of 400 MT are used in the masks. Ensure that the mask is kept at least six inches, approximately 50 centimeters away from any other medical implants or medical devices that can be impacted by the magnetic fields to avoid possible effects from localized magnetic fields all right so that's the point of difference right there all right that field strength of the magnetic clips in the manual there's two inches 50 millimeters five centimeters and now it's six inches and 15 centimeters. That's a massive difference, guys. That's three times as much. 
Now you might say, come on, Nico. They're just small magnetic clips. Come on, it's only 10 centimeters difference in the new literature. Do we really need a voluntary recall? Well, think about this. If you're someone with a pacemaker, your pacemaker's floating around down here, keeping your heart, boom, 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 and you get this Philips Dreamwear full mask, and you read the manual and it says, it's okay, your pacemaker's more than five centimeters away from the mask clips. You're in the clear. We're like, great, no problem. But if all of a sudden the documentation changes and, it, and all of a sudden your pacemaker is within 15 centimeters, well, that's the last thing you need. The last thing you need is your magnetic clip affecting this device here that's maintaining the pulse rate of your heart, all right? So you can understand the problem. And to date, Philips had received 14 reports of serious injuries related to the recalled masks. The events include pacemaker failure, arrhythmia, seizures, and irregular blood pressure. No deaths had been linked to recalled masks as of last week, but the FDA thinks fatal outcomes are possible. So there you go, guys. That's the reason the Philips masks are being recalled and the ResMeds are not being recalled, all right? It all comes down to the documentation and Philips, once again, they got it wrong. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't find more skeletons, if there's any room in that closet for more skeletons. Um, but, you know, things are coming to light now because there's a spotlight on Philips. Right? The FDA, the, Philips is causing the FDA a lot of problems. Right? It all falls back on the FDA because the FDA is responsible for sort of maintaining order making sure this stuff doesn't happen. They tick all the boxes. Yes, your device is approved. Yes, 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 tick, tick, tick. This is safe, this is safe. And you can imagine the backlash and all the emails and all the work that the FDA has to do because of Philips, because they keep stuffing up and they've been stuffing up for decades. Go back 10 years, guys. Like, it's one recall after the other, not just CPAP, defibrillators, there's a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, these guys have massive problems with their manufacturing safety. And also when people have a problem, when people report an adverse event of some description, yes, my CPAP machine stuffed up, it's blowing smoke in my lungs, whatever it is, right? When they report that back to Philips, uh, they got really bad record keeping. They just, they don't do anything with the information. They don't action it. You need to action the problems and fix them so that in five years time, you don't end up with a five million device CPAP recall, the biggest in history. You don't end up with 17 million CPAP masks being voluntarily recalled. I mean, guys, I've said it a thousand times now and look me in the eyes right now. If you still have a Philips CPAP machine, if you still use a Philips mask, if you use a Philips razor, if you have a Philips, whatever it is, just get something else. Anyway, guys, link in the description. Have yourselves a lovely night and I'll see you soon. Bye.